Well, hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have with me two different options for the S7 dock. Many of you have been asking me for a review on this and I am going to try to give you a good review on it today. So let's get started. When the S7 dock was released for the US market, there was a lot of controversy because it did not include a bagless option. It only included a bag version while other countries in the world did include either or. Well, that has all changed. Roborock has released this canister right here for $65 right now currently on their website and on Amazon, link down below in the description. You can purchase this bagless option, which will just simply slide right into your S7 dock, and now your S7 dock is bagless. So many of you have been asking me which one is better, and honestly, I think it may come down to one thing or just personal preference. You see, let's talk about money real quick. This option right here is only an add-on option for the dock. So the dock is $299. In the US, it comes with a bagged version. If you want to add this on, it's another $65. Now let's talk about the cost of bags. You're looking at an average of about $4 per bag right now uh, on Amazon or Roborock's website. You can get a 12-pack of them for around $42. Now that's enough to last for around two years. So for $42, you can keep the bagged version and it will be good for up to two years. Not to mention, Roborock ships this with two bags. So cost-wise, if you're going to spend $65 on this, it may be over two years before you actually see any cost savings. And I know that was a large concern for many people. They didn't want the ex extra expense of having to buy bags. So now that we've gotten the math out of the way, let's talk about which one might be better for your home. Now one thing that I do like about bag systems is already here we have a filter built into the bag. You see dust and debris can't really easily escape this, but you may notice that the bag has a bit of dark tinting to it. That's because this is not a perfect filter. You see the S7 dock here includes extra HEPA filtration in the side over here in the form of two filters. We have this cone filter here and we also have this semicircular filter here that goes around it and together this uh, these filters with the bag and these two right here give the S7 dock a HEPA filter. Now let's talk about the bag version real quick. When you are done with the bag version you simply just open up the lid here and slide it out and then put the bag right into the trash can. That is all there is to do. Slide a new bag in which is very simple to do and you are completely done. Now with the bagless version here, you are going to have to dump it over a trash can and you are going to have to clean it out. You see, after 120 days of usage, the inside of this canister is perfectly clean. And I also tested the filters by blowing them out with compressed air and they were perfectly clean too. So after 120 days of usage, all the filters and the canister were perfectly clean. So that means if you suffer from allergies, then this might be the best option for you. Now, if you don't care about that and you simply just don't want a bag system or you don't want the extra expensive bags, this could be an option for you. Well, let's take a look real quick at what it looks like when I dump out this. And I've been using this for roughly about two months in my house. And as you can see here, it is about three quarters of the way full. Okay, emptying out the bagless version here. On the very back, we have a red button. You just simply push the red button and the content should just dump out. As you can see there, give it a couple of shakes for everything to come out. I don't know if you can see how well you can see that on the camera, but there's a lot of dust coming out. And so if that was in your house, that would go everywhere. And this is one problem that you may have with the bagless version, especially if you have allergies, is that you're going to have all this dust and debris, debris go everywhere. And even if you take it outside like I am here today, it's still gonna blow back on you. Now the cone canister in here, you just simply slide it right out. And as you can see here, inside of it, and you can see there is a lot of dust and debris. Now, Roborock says this is washable, so you would need to wash this out and let it sit for at least 24 hours to dry before you use it again. Also, inside the canister here, you'd want to clean that out as well. Okay, so let's wrap things up. In conclusion, which one is right for you? Well, I really do think it comes down to personal preference, and there's no real clear winner here. I was impressed by both of these options and their filtration inside of the canisters, keeping my internal HEPA filters inside the S7 dock very clean. After both tests, a long-term test, I didn't see any real dust and debris coming off of these, which is excellent. 
Now with the bagless version that we have here, I used this for a little over two months in my house. I filled it up about three quarters of the way and I never lost any suction power out of the dock itself. It always cleaned out the internal dust bin in my S7. That was one thing I was concerned about and I'm pleased to say that it did a good job with that. The same goes for the bag version here. I filled this up almost about three quarters of the way and I never lost any suction either. So one drawback that there is, uh, well actually a few drawbacks that there are for the bagless version here, is you are going to have to interact with the dust and debris in here. When you push the button here to open up the lid on the very back, you will have dust and debris come out. I suggest you emptying this out over your trash can outside, and you may even want to think about wearing a mask. After you dump it out, you are going to want to take out this cone filter and clean it, and wait 24 hours before you can use the S7 again with the dock. Uh, so that is just one thing to note. Also, you get about, Rubberbox says you get about 42 days worth of capacity in here. I'd say that's fairly accurate. Now with the bag version over here, Roborock claims about 120 days, and that's about what I got out of my, my bag version over here. And with this, it is a lot less mess. In fact, inside the canister here is still perfectly clean after using it with this bag. So that is good news. And the cost of the bags are relatively cheap at around $4 a bag. If you buy the 12 pack off of Amazon, you're looking at around $42 and that should give you about two years worth of usage before you need to buy another pack of bags. So expense-wise, it will be over two years before you can get your money back from purchasing this add-on bagless option. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure you go ahead and drop those down below. I appreciate you watching. Take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.